back to my channel. Um, if I still have to introduce myself, it means that you're not subscribed to my channel, which is kind of weird. Like, why aren't you subscribed? I'm literally being so consistent right now. This is the time to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Okay, subscribe right now. And if you're also a YouTuber, comment because I want to start supporting more YouTubers. I'm like finally getting in my YouTube era because I don't know, something about Instagram is just slowly like making me lose interest. I feel like that's happening with a lot of people, um, especially content creators, just because Instagram's algorithm has always been terrible and hasn't really benefited creators. Um, they're trying to add like so many new features but don't want to fix the main issue which I just think is weird like why don't you ask us fix what people are complaining about we don't need to add on all the, like now they're subscribers now people can pay to see like exclusive content which makes me feel like they're trying to be like only fans I don't know I don't know but it's getting weird on that app okay so I'm trying to slowly shift more to YouTube and TikTok and also Pinterest I'm also posting a lot on Pinterest because I hear the girls are making bank on Pinterest which I need to catch up on okay I've been watching videos non-stop on TikTok about how Pinterest is the way to go now so we're on there and we're on here and we're on TikTok we're also still on Instagram but we're kind of we're gonna shift a little bit but today, I am going to be talking about, you guys can hear the package already, we're going to be talking about lingerie, um, specifically Valentine's Day lingerie. Valentine's Day is coming up, and I love Valentine's Day, even though like it's going to be the first time I'm actually celebrating it with somebody. Um, before, it was really just like, either I was alone. I remember one year I did like a Valentine's Day thing. Um, it was boring, but I still like Valentine's Day. I like Valentine's Day because, like, I love love, you know? I love the idea of hearts and red and pink. You can see I'm wearing pink right now. I love it, okay? It's like, I don't know. People like to say it's very girly. I just, I think it's just cute, okay? I think it's real cute. Um, I saw a tweet the other day where uh, this girl said that her boyfriend was like, Valentine's Day is not about men, it's about girls. It's for the girls. And I was like... I mean, it wasn't really lying. Um, so we're going to talk about Valentine's Day, lingerie. Um, I also want to know what you guys are going to be doing for Valentine's Day. Comment below if you're going to be like spending it with someone, doing a Valentine's Day. I think Valentine's is always like such a good ass time because even if you are single and your friends are single, you guys can still like have a good time. I feel like especially now um there are lots of things catered towards valentine's day like i'm working uh, for my job i'm working with a company right now uh where they are doing a theme centered around like exes and stuff so a lot of the influencers who applied for the campaign they were like oh, i'm gonna do like a valentine's day theme thing and i was like oh my god i love that like seriously love it uh, you don't have to stress about you know having somebody taking you out and getting you a gift and dressing up Although all of that is still really nice, which is why I'm glad I'm spending it with someone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to those who are single, but it is, I love the idea of like dressing up, getting glammed up, going out, getting some roses, hopefully a gift. I've already set my wish list to him, so I better be getting a gift. I'm expecting a gift, and he knows that. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. But today, we are going to be talking about adore me Ooh, I don't want to show my address <laughs> on the bag um, I have two packages from adore me that we are going to be on bagging it's a bad unboxing whatever we're going to be unboxing them um, I got to work with adore me I think the last time I worked with them was uh, senior year of college um, I'll explain like I had to take a break from working with them but I started working with them by like I think late junior year um, they actually have a whole platform for creators. I'm gonna link it below with my referral code. Um, I don't think the referral really does much. I don't think you get like a certain amount or anything. I think it just helps them know who is bringing influencers to them. Um, so I'm gonna link that below, but they have a whole platform for creators where if you're not already on it, you literally have to just sign up. Um, I think it's you just put in like a mini application to them who you are, um, link in your socials so they can see who you are. And, uh, yeah, I think that was it. 
I can't remember because I applied so long ago, but quick application. I don't think they really decline anyone unless you have a significantly low amount of followers on Instagram or TikTok. You can also work with them on YouTube. So if you have like a low subscriber count, I don't think they would accept it. But I had 10,000 followers on Instagram when I applied and um, they invited me, so they were gonna accept me regardless, you know? You don't just invite an influencer and then decline their application. So I was invited a while ago, and I started working with them. Uh, on the platform, the way it works is when you're accepted, you link all your socials, um, be sure that your Facebook is connected because that's what's connected to your Instagram page. And basically, you get to have access to all of their campaigns. Right now, they are running like, I wanna say they're running like six or seven uh, Valentine's Day campaigns right now um, they do a lot of big like holiday campaigns like they did one for Christmas uh, New Year's Valentine's Day um, I don't know what they did it for Damn, I'm blanking but they, they do a lot of holiday themed stuff and they also just do regular regular campaigns all throughout the year so you have access to all of the campaigns uh, the way it works is that some of them are paid some of them are gifted um, which I think is amazing because if you have a low amount of followers they're not really gonna pay you. Um, but if you do have a high count, you do have the opportunity of getting paid. If you have a low count, you do have the opportunity to work with them on a gifted basis, which is great to establish a relationship with them. And then when you do have a higher following, they'll pay you. Like you literally just have to put in a quick application. But once you find a campaign that you like, you literally apply for it. Um, I think the first few, they have to review it just to see like if everything looks right. And then they'll accept you. And then you literally get a code like a promo code to get the maximum amount that I ever got to spend on their website was like, I want to say, I think 300. Yeah, so you can get like a max of 300, a minimum of like 150. I got to spend 250 on one package. So I'm working with them on Instagram and TikTok. So I got to spend 250 on one package and 300 on another. So um, a total of $550, um, which is great because it allows you to get so much stuff on their website. So if you haven't heard of Adore Me, which is crazy, it's basically like a, in my opinion, the better version of Victoria's Secret. Um, Victoria's Secret definitely fell off, uh, just a little bit. I mean, they're not gone, but like, I think when Rihanna like released her first collection for Savage X, um, I think Rihanna really set the bar. And it was the same thing with her beauty company. Like, I think it's so funny how Rihanna came out and said, guys, why aren't you guys doing this in the beauty and fashion industry? Why aren't you guys including plus size models for lingerie? Because it should exist. Why aren't you guys including more black women and women of color in beauty campaigns? Because it, it should exist. I feel like Rihanna really set that bar um, because after she released Savage X, all of a sudden Victoria's Secret wants to rebrand. And all of a sudden they want to include more black models, more plus size models. I just recently saw the campaign, Bella Hadid is a part of it. Um, I saw like, I think I saw like a few plus size models and I was like, whoa, this is a first that I'm seeing this. Which should tell you something about Victoria's Secret right now. They are definitely trying to rebrand to save their name because if you haven't seen a documentary on Hulu, highly recommend you see, I think it's called Angels and Demons, I believe that's what it's called. To like highlight, you know, BS angels and whatnot, but like really the shit that was going on Victoria's Secret and just know that Jeffrey Epstein was involved. That's all you need to know. If you have not seen the documentary, go watch it because it was so eye-opening and I think the reason why Victoria's Secret really fell off is because people were able to recognize that it was formed by a man but it's catered to women. And as they kept saying, they were trying to sell a fantasy. All I know is we're blaming men on this one. All right, I blame men. It, it, they were the issue with Victoria's Secret's downfall. So Adore Me is like a way better version in my opinion. When I started working with them, I fell in love with their products. I find their products to be sexy but chic. Um, they all fit me, like really great size range in my opinion. They go from like petite to plus size, which I think is amazing. Um, you're definitely like gonna find something that fits you and your style, I feel like. Cause for me, when it comes to lingerie, I love red, okay? I am obsessed with red lingerie just because I love the color red in general. Um, but I just find it so sexy, especially since Valentine's Day is coming up. I got a few red lingerie. I got some pajamas. 
because they also have some cute Valentine's Day themed pajamas. And then I got some black lingerie. I also love black lingerie. I feel like black is just classic. You just have to have black lingerie. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of good stuff. Um, I'm not going to show you guys everything because some of them are see-through or like mesh and we want to keep this like pg-13 because i'm pretty sure youtube won't even let me upload it you can see my nipples so we're not even gonna do that and i don't i don't want to show all of that so we're gonna show you guys select things um whatever is not showing too much but just enough okay um but we're gonna show y'all some stuff i'm also gonna have a video on tiktok because i have to post on tiktok as well for them um, and again, I'm going to link below uh, the creators page. If you are a creator who would love to work with more brands like Adore Me, um, definitely check out their website. I'm going to link everything that I got below as well. Check out their website. If you would love to work with them, highly, highly recommend that you apply to be a creator. Their products are amazing. Okay. I love their products. Um, I had to stop working with them a while ago just because like life started becoming a little bit too overwhelming and with their campaigns they actually have deadlines and if you don't meet those deadlines they like hound you which is rightfully so like i totally understand you know they are literally giving you free products so they expect you to post those free products especially on time but if you're not able to it is really important that you communicate with them and i just reached a point where it was just becoming too much you know it was just becoming too much so i did stop for a little bit but i'm back with working with them because day is coming up um if you haven't gotten your VA lingerie go buy it from adore me okay um i know savage x also has some stuff i haven't shopped on their website in like forever because i'm not the biggest fan of savage x one their membership situation is just like so annoying i remember when i first got something from their side so i got like a few bralettes i think i got like um i think it was like a teddy or something i think a teddy or a bodysuit something like that but they just kept they just kept bothering me with that membership and it just got so annoying i was like oh my god i don't want to join the membership because i'm not going to be like i'm not going to be expecting lingerie like that every single month i just like to shop for it when i want get it and just move on like just deal with that but they're always telling you about that that uh membership so i i don't mess with it too much and not only that after a certain point after the first collection i felt like a lot of this stuff started to look very target like like i feel like i could get some of it from target no offense to robin okay no offense to the savage x team but just some products just i was like uh i can't really get into it but some of the products do look amazing like i think their newest collection um they have like this super bowl collection going around now i think it's really dope i think it's really cool um if you can get your hands on it hey get your hands on it because i think it's gonna sell out or maybe it's already sold out i'm not sure i checked it the other day because um, the jersey like t-shirt look really cool for like sleeping in but I didn't get it but yeah um, haven't shopped at Savage X in a while um, I really an adore me stan I also love I don't know if anybody's been to Antissimi I went to Antissimi for the first time in Florida like five months ago and I love their products it's definitely on the more luxurious lingerie side because I got a teddy and like underwear I got the underwear on sale but the teddy was like over a hundred dollars because it was pure silk it's gorgeous don't get me wrong but if you're not trying to spend over a hundred dollars on some lingerie like one piece of lingerie it's not for you okay but if you're someone who wants to treat yourself you know um i think the lingerie is made in italy i believe i believe so i think it's italy um if you're somebody who wants to you know get into that i would definitely check out antisemi um, I'm also trying to look into more other like lingerie brands because I really do shop at Adore Me like crazy um, But if you know any others that's like huge on your list definitely please comment them below I also get a few things from Aerie I like some of their underwear. The underwear is really comfortable. I get their comfy underwear. So like they're not really sexy, but They're comfy, you know for that time of the month or whatever um, So I still like their stuff, but I definitely want to look for more sexy type of lingerie um so if you know any if you have any favorites please link them below um let's get into this video so i can show you guys what i got and let me know which is your favorite i will link everything below and definitely check out tiktok because i'll also have a little more shortened video on tiktok this video isn't going to be long either but it's going to be a shorter video on tiktok so let's get into it Okay, 
This is the first lingerie piece that I got. Again, everything's gonna be linked because I cannot remember the name exactly. They make up like different names for their lingerie, but super, super cute. This was like the first thing I saw and I was like, I have to get this. It's literally like a pink, uh, sort of like baby doll type of teddy. This is the first thing I saw and I was like, I have to get it. I'm, I feel like you can see my nipples through it. So I'm actually gonna like cover here, but um, super, super cute. Um, you see sheer, it also has like polka dots all over it pink polka dots and it comes with the matching thong super super cute will be linked below um this is probably my favorite thing that i got and i can actually see myself wearing like the top part maybe like as an outfit of course i would wear like a bra underneath but i don't know you can do something more with this you don't just have to wear this as a lingerie piece like in the bedroom um you can definitely wear this as a staple piece i feel like when you're putting a look together so love this again will be linked below i have to see if they have another colors i only remember seeing it in pink because this is really cute we love this one this is the next one this is super super cute okay i'm not going to be turning around just because the back is open so you can see my booty and i want to keep this like i said pg 13 okay but this how it looks in the front i really really love this um i believe this is an extra small so I think this fits just right. Um, I feel like a small would have probably made it a little bit longer, but like it doesn't need to be a little bit longer. You know what I mean? So I really, really like this. Will be linked below as well. Okay. This is cute. This is super cute. This is, I only got one red piece of lingerie. This is the only one I got. Cause I already have a lot of red. I love red lingerie. It's my favorite. Okay, just something about it. Oh, and then like, I don't know. I just feel like it really complements my skin tone. What do you guys think? I don't know, it's just what I thought. But yeah, it's super, super cute. You can adjust the straps. I wanted to also let you guys know, like everything that I got, you can adjust the straps um, just to make sure it fits right. So you can definitely adjust the straps. Love this design, kind of has like underwire, which helps, you know, just, I don't know, I just feel like it really helps shape your titties. But yeah, I really, really love it. Um, I give it a 10 out of 10. So far, I love everything that I've gotten so far. Everything fits, which is the biggest thing for me. Um, so we're giving some nice good 10 out of 10. And yeah, let me know what you think. So this is obviously a lot more PG. I got these pajamas just cause like, I don't know. I wanted some cute pajamas. <laughs> some cute Valentine's Day themed pajamas. I thought they were cute, so I got them, okay? Um, they're just these little cute pajamas with a tank top and shorts with red hearts. I'm the type of person who typically just sleeps in like a big t-shirt when I go to sleep. Um, I do have like cute pajama sets that I like to wear on like my self care days. Like I like to go to sleep in like a nice little satin pajama set. But I'm the type of person who cannot wear like all long sleeve. Like you know like those long sleeve um, pajamas like that you see like pajama sets. I always have to wear a tank top underneath it because once it's time for me to go to sleep, I'm taking that shirt off. Like I have to be wearing a tank top when I go to sleep. Um, so I really, really love this. So comfortable, would definitely be wearing this on Valentine's Day once it's time to go to bed. And yeah, love it. I will say the shorts though could fit a little better. The shorts have a like, I don't know what type of material, but it feels like almost like paper, but like it's still comfortable, like, but it's, it's thin material and I don't know. I kind of wanted the shorts to be a little bit less like that, but I still like them, comfortable. I'm sleeping in them, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, definitely check out Adore Me's pajamas. Love them. Okay, so while I did get a lot more stuff, the rest of the stuff that I got was just like panties um, because the gift cards, um, so like the lingerie, I would say the most you could spend on like one of those teddies or um, dress sort of like lingerie that I got, um, probably like $50, $60. So I get like a gift card. Whenever I work with the dorm, they give me a gift card with a certain amount on it. And sometimes it's easy to go over that amount when you put too much in your cart. So I was doing that and then it reached a point where I took some things out and I was still like under the amount that I could spend. And I was like, 
why don't I just get a bunch of panties? You know, you can never go wrong with new panties. So the rest of the stuff is mostly just new panties. Um, nothing to really like wear and show you guys, but I would recommend their panties. They are super comfortable and there are so many different styles. Thong, bikini, boy short. Um, there's cotton panties and it's like the big granny panties. Perfect for like that time of the month. So I got a couple of those and then I got like some cute panties like um i got these uh hearts it has hearts all over them and they're black and they're like underwear you know it's, it's cute like you could just wear like around the house or whatever with like a crop sweatshirt or whatever but yeah those are all the products that i got that i wanted to show you guys um would definitely recommend checking out adore me if you've never shopped them before i'm linking everything below and i'm also going to have the referral uh i think it's just a link I'm gonna double check, but I think it's gonna be a referral link that I'm gonna link below for anybody who would love to work with Adore Me. Would highly recommend if you're a creator who would love to, you know, make a video like this or work with them on Instagram, TikTok. Check out my Instagram, Afrobliso. I will be posting content uh, featuring some of the products that I got to wear in this video. Um, and then TikTok, I will also be featuring. I think TikTok will probably have a little bit more of the stuff that I got just because it's a quick video, you know? Um, so you can definitely check that out, also at Afrobliso. And check out my brand's page. We are finally back live on the internet, okay? I did have to take a little break of all of January to spend the time to revamp my website and get ready for the handbag launch. I'm actually also looking for creators and influencers to work with for my company. Uh, once these handbags are going to be released, well, actually before I release them, I want to work with a few influencers to send them um, obviously a free bag. You do not have to pay for that. I'm not one of those brands who tries to trip you up or anything i definitely want to send some influencers free bags just for them to promote on their tiktok or their instagram or even youtube you know if you want to talk about it on youtube but i will be trying to look for influencers to do that if anybody is interested please comment below so that i can actually uh note you down i have like a whole spreadsheet and i'm trying to know all the influencers down to send them some handbags and get ready for this launch you know super exciting super nervous but super exciting and i just hope it goes really well but i will hopefully be having a new video up talking about those bags right now they are in the production stage so once i get them i definitely want to make a video showing you guys the features and how i like to style it so definitely follow me on all my socials to get more details and yeah see you guys again next week bye